All right, hello and welcome to Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. There is going to be some background noise in this whip and chat. My dad's sanding, but yeah, my camera will cooperate. All right, so working on Craftably's Midnight Warrior by Sarah Burrier, 20 inches by 28 inches, round drill, 62 colors in total, including two ABs which stands for Aurora Borealis, and they're an iridescent coated type of drill that sparkles a little brighter than that of regular drills, and two rhinestones that have translucent faceted tops and flat silver bottoms. All right. So are having a wonderful weekend or day. Yeah, I'll try not to specifically date these, but yeah. Let's hope you're having a nice relaxing day or if you're just uh, working on your own project, craft, etc. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> um, it's great to be hanging out. <laughs> just plugging in another whip and chat here. It's nice calm day kind of thing. Sorry about the background noise. If you can hear it somewhat be a slight edge of sanding but yeah <laughs> dad's weekend off from work so yeah <laughs> he's doing his thing all right so yeah I'm just plugging away at this one color here huge section. I have to blow my nose just a sec. Sorry, nose is running. Okay, all fixed up. <laughs> For now, anyway. All right. All right. Just doing sectioning it off as I can here. Ah, the ambience of sanding. Yeah, I'm finding this one color a little daunting, but. Well, that's life, isn't it? Yeah, I just have a few hiccups sometimes. Oh, so well. Just coast through it eventually. Whoa, that was that drill kind of slid. Okay, that's a drill, right? <laughs> just, yeah. Oh, well. All I can do is just keep placing drills, filling in the spaces here, and yeah, I'll be on to the next color in no time. But yeah, I just did this symbol first instead of the AB for the crescent moon here. Yeah, just to kind of get it out of the way. <laughs> oh, no big deal. Yeah. It, sometimes have to power through some canvases some sections so this would be one of the power through scenarios yeah yeah I know there could multi place but yeah I single place or I'd uh, just be spending half my time, I think, straightening what I put down with uh, multiplays. <laughs> yeah. There we go. All right. <laughs> Yeah. 
yeah, getting sucked into the Expanse, uh, Nemesis Games, uh, it's book five, the series of nine books, space opera, science fiction kind of story. Yeah, spaceships are like disappearing or going missing for some reason. And either it's a conspiracy or something else is going on. So. And somebody's trying to cover it up cover up that some of these ships are looking because the main characters are investigating it they noticed it and then you now yeah somebody's kind of catching on that the main characters are looking into it so I think there's a lot more going on <laughs> than meets the eye yeah it's kind of interesting Yeah, the characters kind of separated. They're not. It used to be like a crew on a spaceship going through a space, doing stuff. Yeah. Now they're separated. They might reunite later in the book, but for now they're doing their things. But I think what each of them are going through is kind of interconnecting in a way, interwoven to this huge possible conspiracy that's going on in the story. This book, anyway. Yeah. There always seems to be, like, a couple conflicts in each of these books, but the overarching story is kind of weaving through all the books. It's really cool how they just work all this stuff together. <laughs> Yeah, so that's what I'm reading now on the treadmill while I do these uh, walking challenges, the Lord of the Rings and uh, Pacer, just to get kilometers towards uh, earning medals by virtually traveling in these locations via Conqueror app and Pacer app on my phone. <laughs> Phone's basically a pedometer which measures uh, number of steps I take in a day and then that translates into kilometers to be able to input the data into the apps to put towards the completion of these virtual challenges so yeah <laughs> So yeah, if I talk about reading on the treadmill or what I'm reading, yeah, that's a big part of it. And I just count my steps that I take every day. I usually walk on purpose to get my steps in. <laughs> so, yeah. So I'm not sponsored by Conquer or Pace or anything, but yeah, it's challenges I'm doing. I have the Great Wall of China lined up after I finish this Lord of the Rings saga. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, I'm on the fourth challenge out of five. I'm headed to Mordor virtually in the Lord of the Rings thing. Yeah, I'm on that Anudin River or something that... Sam and Frodo took to get the Mordor. Yeah, it it's a stretch of water. But yeah, that's virtually where I am. And you didn't yeah, I might have the name wrong, but yeah. Just basically think or look at it like uh the path that Sam and Frodo took to destroy the One Ring in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Or the Fellowship, but really it was Sam and Frodo who 
went the rest of the way to Mordor while everybody else kind of branched off to take care of the other surrounding issues involving the story in the Lord of the Rings. So, <laughs> yeah, and Silk Road is trading routes. Well, one long route, which interconnects the various trading networks that were in Asia or still are in 700 BC. So, yeah. <laughs> so, that's what I mean by virtual walking challenges. You could call them fitness challenges. Yeah, you could walk your dog or go for a bike ride or use an elliptical indoor bike. That kind of thing. Cut your lawn. Yeah. Do some gardening. Yeah. Just that kind of stuff. And you can translate any activity into distances towards these challenges. There's conversion charts, I think, in the Conqueror app. It might be somewhere on the Pacer app, but I've seen more about these uh, distance charts in the Conqueror app. Yeah, you can get... Uh, I have an iPhone, but I think there's Android version of the app too that you can put on your cell phone. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my iPhone's charged, so that's good. Okay. There we go. Alright, put that back in my pocket. <laughs> there we go. Alright, thank goodness. Yeah, basically if uh, you have your cell phone on and in your pocket, there's a health app on the iPhone that you can connect to the Conquer app. It takes the data from the fitness app and translates it and transfers the information to Conquer app, which you can use to post your distances towards challenges. So that's what I do. <laughs> the health app synchronizes with uh, your Conqueror app. And yeah, there are various different challenges. I'm just on the Lord of the Rings. There's people who do two or three different challenges at once. Yeah, there's like the Great Wall of China, uh, somewhere in Costa Rica, I think. There's a Hawaii-themed one. Great Barrier Reef is a popular one. Grand Canyon. Yeah, there's various different locations. I list the two websites below in the walking challenges section of the description. I'm not an affiliate or partnered or anything. It's just something I do on the side, and it's just like everyday habit now. It's like second nature to just walk and... Uh, finish these challenges so yeah yeah it, it if it's something you're interested in or curious about yeah that's why I put the websites down ever since I started them last year kind of thing yeah closer to the end of 2022 the later end when I started doing them I did the Pyramids of Egypt first for like a pacer, just to start. There's interactive maps that visually show you where you are virtually in the challenge in terms of progression. There's uh, kind of like progress bars too, they give you a percentage. And in the Conqueror app, Conqueror challenges every 20%. Uh, completion uh, you can plant a tree or help take plastic out of the ocean I plant trees so there's a kind of a charity or cause that's part the Eden project I believe where they plant a tree for you on your behalf every time you complete 20% of any of their challenges which is documented in your Conqueror and Pacer app. So 
yeah, I talk about this walking challenge stuff on occasion here on Echo's Color. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, it can go for a hike or if you walk your dog or go for a run. Yeah, a lot of people run for these uh, conqueror challenges. Uh, rowing, canoeing, kayaking, swimming. Yeah, you can kind of sync your Apple Watches. Uh, pedometers, you can manually enter distances. I usually do... There's a Cross Canada challenge I'm doing, but that was like private. That was kind of a register totally separate from Conqueror and Pacer. I'm doing that with a team. Do the same thing, but I have another app which tracks my steps and I use that data to um, kind of fill in <laughs> the distance for that. It's like 8,000 kilometers uh, east to west in Canada, virtually of course. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, and you have team has like a year to do it. So started like last June. So yeah, I just seen that advertised somehow. But yeah, I don't list that on the description because it was a kind of limited registration window. I think they do it every year. And there's Facebook communities for both Pacer and Conqueror. And yeah, the you post that you received a medal or something and a couple hundred people could be like congratulating you, cheering you on. People share their setbacks and you know, I got injured. Yeah, you have to pause my challenge or something or they have a question about how to post to their app. It could be just doing their first challenge and yeah, I encourage other people on there. Basically once you buy a challenge, you can join the Facebook groups for Pacer and Conquer respectively. Yeah, just can't willy-nilly just join these groups without buying a challenge. It's kind of like uh, when you buy a Diamond Art Club kit uh, you can join the VIP group on Facebook. Yeah, I think that's like in a Diamond Art Club brochure. Yeah, I think there are QR codes. <laughs> oh, I think that's just for the app though, the DAC app. But yeah, something like that. Because you purchase a kit and then, yeah, then you can be part of the Facebook community for that. So it's kind of like that, Conquer and Pacer respectively can interact with thousands of other people that are doing ch their challenges in various different ways. So There are some individuals who put teams together to do a specific challenge like the Great Barrier Reef. Can create a group to be like accountable and help complete the challenge. You have to be individually registered for the challenge but you individually get a medal but if you're working with like a team there are certain join codes like the creator a member that has a challenge creates a group code and then you join that group that way and then you can bunch your distances together as a cumulative total to finish the challenge and then yeah you get a medal at the end of it. There's, yeah, a couple well-known uh, group members in the Conquer uh, Facebook page that put together these little events for a specific uh, challenge. Great Barrier Reef was like a January kind of challenge. I don't know how many people joined. I, I'm just doing the challenges myself. It's, uh, don't want to have like six challenges going. I feel it's a little more honest if I'm just doing one challenge at a time. Pacer app itself 
is a pedometer, has a pedometer uh, system built into it. So it automatically updates as you go throughout the day. I think you can manually add distances to the Pacer app. But yeah. Yeah, here I am talking about these apps, but I'm not selling them or anything. You don't have to do any of this. It's just a major part <laughs> of my life lifestyle. It doesn't take much, and it's just like walking. So, Yeah, I've heard the comments where you could just walk. Why do you need a metal? Yeah, <laughs> it it's more of like an incentive or inspiration. It, these metals are not plastic; they're like metal. Like they're high quality. The Lord of the Rings ones. Once I get all five, I'll probably show them on here. And yeah, that symbolizes the journey across Middle Earth. It may not be the exact hundred percent distance actual distance that middle earth is like map wise but it's a journey in itself <laughs> each metal at 233 kilometers just to get the a replica of the one ring once you get the shire metal for the lord of the rings yeah that that's only just the beginning and then the fellowship is like the longest track yeah, it's quite an undertaking, but yeah, there are a couple distances that you can choose in the Lord of the Rings bundle. I bought a bundle as two hundred dollars worth the investment, but you can buy it, do the challenges, the five challenges separately, individually. But I think in the long run, it's cheaper just to get the bundle. But anyway, totally up to you. You, yeah. If, just <laughs> the distances alone kind of scare you it's yeah it's not for everybody but I like talking about it it's something that I just naturally organically do every day and I check the apps every day it's routine <laughs> so yeah don't feel obligated anyway so yeah it's just something I do it's natural but yeah I don't count diamond painting as an activity but yeah <laughs> some people do you can translate that somehow to miles or kilometers yeah there are miles and kilometers on both apps but yeah, I use kilometers because, yeah, up here in Canada, but yeah, miles, yeah. You can use either distance um, measurement, so in these apps, if I didn't mention that before. Yeah, so every once in a while, I'll just kind of mention these virtual challenge apps. I put it in the description as usual. So we'll probably cut down on my outro. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's a nice segue every once in a while. Just to mention. I usually just give a percentage of progress. I'm almost like 50% through the Eye of Sauron. Like this is right before Mordor. Before I climb, climb Mount Doom. To destroy the one ring yeah making my way to Mordor <laughs> in the Lord of the Rings challenge and yeah I think I'm like slightly over halfway on the Silk Road challenge so yeah yet again totally optional I'm just gabbering on about it <laughs> about these free apps to install on your phone. I think most people just use their smartphones or whatever. I don't know if Apple Watch installs apps, I'd imagine, but yeah. I just use my cell phone. You can do your distance stuff on your cell phone 
open the apps, you have to create an account for Conqueror. You have to do the same thing for Pacer. I think. Conqueror, yeah, I had to email and a password. An email you use all the time and a password. Free apps, yeah. But buying the challenges, yeah. There's a bit of a cost associated with that, of course. That's the cost part. But joining the Facebook group, yeah, free. But yeah, buying the challenges, yeah. That price point for some of the challenges might turn some people off. I agree. But yeah, I think there are discount codes every now and then where offers come up, buy a couple challenges, save 50% on one of them or something. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Yeah, usually get emails about it or something. I think there's a contest or something. Make a purchase and you can enter to win hiking gear or something. That's not really my cup of tea, but... I just have the Great Wall of China challenge on deck and I'll probably do the long version of it. I think it's like 2,800 kilometers or something. It's, yeah. Or maybe even 3,000 kilometers, I'm not sure. It's been a while. But once you buy a challenge, after you've like logged in, created an account, you're emailed a code, an activation code. And there you enter it on the site, like for the choose the challenge that you purchased, enter the join code into that, and you get to choose your distance or what you're recording, how you're recording your distance, manually or automatic. Some challenges just, it's automatic via, yeah, that's how you connect your health app to the challenge to keep track. And then that's your personal um, result because of the join code. So it's personalized. <laughs> you can see where other people are in the challenge, or you can, there's an option just to show you on the virtual map kind of thing. Yeah. It's probably all Spanish, me just explaining this, but. Yeah, it's approachable. Some challenges are shorter than others. You can choose longer challenge, like for Grey Wall China, short challenge, long challenge. Yeah, I can choose that after you activate the challenge. You just need to buy the challenge and you can choose the distance you want to do. In some cases, some challenges are a fixed distance. And no matter what, if you finish the challenge within the designated time period that you select, you can choose, it goes by number of weeks, you can take your time, finish the challenge, uh, you confirm your address, like once you hit 100% full distance, they ask you for your mailing address to confirm, and then you get your medal in a couple of weeks, mailed to you. And then you can uh, buy another challenge, do the same thing. Yeah, just keeps going like that. There's probably like over at least 20 challenges, probably more. And they're creating more every couple months or something. So yeah, but anyway, you've been watching Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison, yeah. Uh, down below in the description, I put my Facebook profile name, my Echoes of Color Facebook business page, and my Instagram. Those three I just update simultaneously, and yeah, I've been talking about the walking challenge apps. Yeah, those are listed down below <laughs> in the description. So yeah, every once in a while, yeah, I'll just talk about these walking challenges. Not trying to sell you anything. Just, yeah, that's what those are. Websites down there, you can 
click on the hyper if they are hyperlinks. I think that's how that works. Click on those, you'll be taken to the actual main website. I won't earn a commission or anything. I don't have any discount codes. I'm not affiliated. Just something I do. So if you want to pursue that, all the best. <laughs> all good. Totally optional. Uh, just hanging out in diamond painting. But yeah, it's something to talk about every once in a while. So hence the reading on the treadmill thing. That's connected. So yeah. All right. But anyway, take care. All the best with your crafting endeavors slash hobbies. Don't worry, not an earthquake. I'm just shaking the drafting table. Yeah, all the best. Take care. Thanks for your support, and uh, see you again soon. Bye.